When something moves while you take a slow shutter speed shot, there's a blur of movement. Many of the shots by professional photographer Lou Jones incorporate this technique and show the effects of motion. World of Photography asked to see the story behind this shot. Actually, a triple exposure on a single piece of film where nothing moves except the camera. I was approached by a, uh, the publisher of a magazine who came, who called from Washington and said that he had seen some uh, photographs of mine that had motion in them. And he, uh, it was, uh, the assignment was called a shootout. And I believe there were four photographers that were asked to shoot pictures that had motion in them and that the thing that they that that the central idea was an emotion so we could select our emotion and we could use motion in a way that uh, that was unique to our style in in this case the the photograph was actually three different it was several three different exposures um, um, I had to think about how to make the saxophone stationary and uh, because I originally had thought that what I would do was uh, suspend the saxophone and, and but I realized that I could never get it to dampen out and to be motionless uh, so I wanted it permanent so that you could go back to it every time and it would be in focus every time um, and then I had to think about how to get the uh, sax player in and out of the shot so that he wasn't a part of the streaking um, and then I realized that I had still had too much black in the photograph and I wanted to fill in space and so I, I thought about the Christmas tree lights and put those in and the exposure on the saxophone is different from the exposure on the um, the the sax player and the exposure on the player was different from the, sa uh, the exposure on the lights and the exposure on the lights is different from the exposure on the streaking. Derek, why don't you come on in here and sit down. Okay, you get comfortable because you're gonna have to hold this for quite a while, motionless. Why don't you put your hands up on, on some of the keys there? All right. Okay. Uh, move a little closer. With the camera okay, you move tilted the side, over on its side, right on the back. I could then get the streaking to go All right. not straight across, but in a diagonal, as if the motion was Ethan, can you, more sort of uh, lyrical, uh, more uh, rhythmic. Okay, that's about right. See this first. Uh, strand on the on the left here move that toward you in uh, my photography it's very important to control every element uh, of a photograph uh, you, you put layer upon layer of uh, of these elements you might have to expose for one area of a photograph or one object in a photograph and then after you um, in, in able to control each different thing you might have to control the color uh, you might have to control the, uh, in, in this case, motion and things like that. So um, we'll put layer upon layer and control each, each element as much as we can for the photographs. This is for the first exposure. Uh, the shutter is open the whole time. Derek, why don't you get in position there? Okay. Uh, for the first one, Ethan, I want you to give me the bank light for the saxophone and the blue gelled light for Derek. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, good. Okay, for the second exposure, I need you to turn off the modeling light. Okay, give me the diffusion filter here. This is a five second exposure now. Okay, lights on. Okay, one a sippy, two a sippy, three a sippy, four a sippy, five a sippy. Okay, turn off them. Christmas tree lights, take that. Okay, for the third exposure, you're gonna turn on the modeling light on the count of three for the streak here. And May, I want you to get in here for the gobo here. Okay, 
On the count of three. One, two, three. Off. Good. The ch challenge technically was to, to, um, was to put all of those, put, put all the little pieces of the shot onto one piece of film in a, in a, an efficient way. Um, I'll, I try to think about it very efficient ways that I can create photographs so that uh, it didn't have to be. A lot of the ideas I originally came up with, I got several days into the thinking and I realized it would cost a fortune to do that or, and I didn't have a client to pay for that. So I had to think of ways to make an efficient, uh, technical, and all on one piece of film. Everything I do is what you see is what you get. I don't do any special effects tricks. They're just, um, uh, all of it's done on one piece of film at the same time. The first exposure for model and instrument, the second for the lights, and the third, which adds the streak of motion simply by moving the camera while the shutter is still open, create motion and emotion in an effortlessly evocative Lou Jones photograph.